Welcome to technical drawing. Today we will see this semi isometric view. Now first we need to draw a box. 70, 90, 70 and 90. Height is 44 plus 22, 66. We will draw a layout and then we will start with this part. Now in this height is 26. So first I will mark height 26. Then I will draw a line. Then I will take this behind. Whatever is there in the front, the same thing is behind. With that concept, I can take this behind. So I got this part. Then this is how much? 12. So I will take 12 from here. From here also I will take 12. Then I will go down by height. Height is how much? 26 minus 14. 12. So we are done with this part. Now the same U shape is behind also. So I'll take this behind, then I'll go down. This height is 12. So this way we are done with this part. After that, after this I'll find out midpoint of this line. This is 90. After finding the midpoint, you draw a vertical line. From down it is 44. So you'll get the center point and from there you'll draw a line. Now we need to draw radius 22. So rhombus would be 44. So what I will do from center I will mark 22, 22 on both the sides. I'll draw a vertical line. I will draw a vertical line and then after that, see this should be 44. So it will come down. Many a times people think that it is only till that box. But it actually it should be till down. So you draw box which is very important. See this. So it should be complete 44. Then I'm taking this behind. How much you have to go behind? You have to go behind by 70. And we can draw this part. So whenever you come across any circular object, make sure you draw the rectangle first and then you draw a circle. You draw a vertical line from here as well as from here. So we are done with this box, now we need to draw a circle, we will darken this remaining line. See this, apart from circle, I am drawing every line dark. So we are done with this much part and behind also. See what we need to do, we need to draw longest diagonal and we should start drawing rhombus. Now after that, see these two rhombuses are there, we need to draw a circle. So, we will draw longest diagonal. From this point to the opposite midpoint. See from here, you can take this radius and you can draw an arc. Then 
this is point 1 2 3 and 4 this is m so take 3 to m and you draw curve so we are done with the front circle now the same circle will come behind so how much you have to go behind 12 so i'm taking point 1 behind by 12 tangent point 3 also behind by 12 and i'll mark that as 1 dash and 3 dash see this 1 dash and 3 dash after this from 1 you take an arc and you draw an arc from 1 dash from 3 you take an arc and from from 3 you take an arc and from 3 dash you draw an arc and you draw tangent so we are done with front part now same way we have to do the behind portion how much you to go behind either you take this distance behind or you draw circle again So you take 44 and again you draw rhombus then you draw longest diagonal this is 44 so half of that would be 22 that is midpoint from 1 to M you can draw this is 22 again 1 to M you can draw this is 2 this is 3 and this is 4 So from 1 to M, you draw an arc. Same way, 3 to M. So we are done with the front uh, circle. Now we need to draw the behind circle. These two lines will be dark. This much will be visible. Now again we'll take point tangent and point 3 and 1 behind by 12, 12 and again we'll draw circle. See from 1 you draw an arc and from 1 dash again you draw an arc. From 3 you draw an arc and from 3 dash draw an arc and you draw tangent from here, vertical line from here and tangent here. So this way we are done with this circular part. Now we need to draw inside circle of diameter 26. So what we'll do, we'll find out the center point. See this way and we'll take 13 13 and with four center method again we'll draw isometric circle see you got center and then you draw line you mark how much 13 13 on both the sides up and down also 13 13 and you draw rhombus so in this same logic one longest diagonal one to m this is two this is three and 4. See in exam you people don't have to write this. I am writing this because then it could be easier for you to locate. So take 1 to M and you draw arc. Then maintain the same radius and from 2, 2 to M you draw an arc. 
same from 3, 3 to M, you draw arc and 4 to M. So this way, so this way we are done with circle. Now we need to draw depth. So we'll take this point 2 behind. How much I have to go behind? 12. So from 2 I'll go behind by 12. That will be 2 dash. We'll take 2 to that radius. And from 2 dash, we'll draw an arc. Now same circle we'll be drawing it behind. This is point 1, 2. Again draw 1 to M. This is point 3, 1 to M. This is point 4. So you take 1 to M and you draw arc. Then 2 to M, you draw an arc. Same way, 3 to M and 4 to M, you draw a circle. Now we take 4 to M and you draw arc. After this, we need to draw depth. So again, I'll take point 2 behind by 12, like this. See this, from point 2, you go behind by 12, that will be 2 dash. And take the radius, original radius, 2 to M. And from 2 dash, you draw an arc. So we are done with this circle. I hope you people have understood this copying isometric sum. Thank you.